Hello, this is Lawrence Anthony, and I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to use the AntConc concordance tool. Uh, I'll go through some of the basic features here. Okay, so first we'll need to load in a corpus, and there's another video for how to get started with AntConc, which you should watch. So I'll go to File and Open Files, and uh, I'm just going to select uh, these 12 uh, texts that are from a, an English communication textbook. So I'll open those into the uh, software. Now, if the file names are a little bit too long and you want to see them all, we can uh, move uh, the window a little bit to the right like this, so you can see more of them, or you can move it left to see less of those and maximize the window screen. Okay, so now that we've got the corpus loaded, uh, we can just start searching for things that we want to look for. So I'm going to search first for the uh, word work. And you can see the uh, display here shows all the hits for work. And we have here 23 hits. And you'll notice that the um, display cuts off at the left and at the right, which is um, standard for a quick concordance window like this. Uh, if you'd like to see more of the context, we can uh, increase the size of the window here. Uh, for example, if I make it 100 uh, here, that means 100 characters to the right, 100 characters to the left. And when I start it again, now you can see we have more context on the left and right. But for this demonstration, uh, I think 50 should be fine. Okay. Okay, so one of the key features of uh, a, a tool like AntConc uh, is that we can sort the results. So if I just click here sort, what we have is that the center word is still as it was and now the display is sorted on the first word to the right, the second word to the right and the third word to the right. And we can change those settings at the bottom here. So I can now go for example first word to the left, second word to the left and third word to the left. And if I sort it now, we'll see this display. So let me put it back to how it was before. Okay, so next uh, we can search for other words. For example, we can search for study. And we have a few hits there. Or for example, play. And we can get a few, one hit for that. Uh, and so on. You'll notice that um, I can generate the results by clicking the start button here or if I want I can just uh, click enter and then we get the result there as well. Now in a, a tool like concordance uh, you don't need to just search for words you can also search for uh, more advanced things for example I can search for work with a wild star, uh, card star meaning anything else so now when we generate the results you can see we have working workers work and so on uh, we can also for example search for ing and we can see now that all the words ending in ing and for example we can have b something in and then we get all these results and of course we can always sort them so that now we can see b expanding b looking b making and so on uh, appearing in the corpus there's lots of uh, wildcards that you can use in the concordance tool, and you can find those by going to the global settings, uh, opening that, and looking at the wildcard settings. So you can see I'm using the star at the moment, which is zero or more characters. And of course you can change this to something else if you like. For example, I could change this to, uh, say, an equal sign, and apply that. And now if I do that, I will get no hits, but if I change my wildcard now to the new wildcard, I will then get the results as I had them before. So let's change that back to the original wildcard setting of a star and apply that. Uh, at the moment, the search term is set at words, but if I set it um, to be uh, to not be words, then if I search for ing, I'll get all the hits uh, within words and so on. Uh, for example, if I just type the word S, 
I'll then find all the words with an S in them, like that. Now, if you want to do um, capital letter searches, for example, if I type in A and D with a capital A and hit enter, then you'll see that we're still getting hits for the lowercase and and the uppercase and. Now, just to force it to only use the uppercase and, then I would put on the case uh, option here and then start it. And now you can see that all the hits are and with a capital A. We can also use regular expression searches or regex searches. So for example, if I now uh, use a regular expression of a, bound, a word boundary followed by any capital letters from A to Z, uh, followed by any, any character or more with a non-greedy search uh, ending in a word boundary and then start it, what we get now is all the words that start with a capital letter. And we can see that there are quite a lot of them in this corpus. In fact, 1,597. And that's pretty much it for the basic features of the concordance tool. Uh, I've shown you now how to do um, various searches and um, how to sort them. And the last thing I should show you is if you go to the hit word and click on that, you'll notice a little finger appears. And when I click, then it jumps to the file view tool and shows the word in the full context of the file that it came from. And you can do that for any of the words here.